Hey YouTube, Clem here. Today I'm gonna do you a quick review of the Black Nakimax replica. As you can see, this box is pretty much damaged and I'm a bit sad about it because I was hoping to get one like the first pair I ordered and only this pot was damaged, but this one looks really very damaged, so I'm a bit sad about it, but whatever. That's not what I was waiting for. I was waiting for those babies. So the first thing that you're gonna see is the sole. As you can see, the sole is really clear because you can see how yellow the box is and how clear the soles are. To give you a bit of advice how clear the soles are, here are my Halloween Customs replicas and you can see that the color of the soles is pretty much different. You can see here is pretty much yellowish and this one is clear, very clear, which will give me a perfect base to work with. Um, two problems that I have to advise you on those replicas is the first one is on the strap logo. You will probably get one shoe with the right logo at the right spot, as you can see, it is right placed. And the second one will be a bit close to this spot. So just ask the dealer first if they can send you a picture of how the shoes look like so at least if the strap logo is not too down below you will be able to work with because the first pair I got you could see the end of the logo nearly to that spot so if you put an EL panel you would have seen the light through the AR strap. Another problem on these shoes is the heel cup painting. As you can see, it's rubbish, really rubbish. I don't know how they do that, but hell, man. Learn to paint, guys. So, as you can see, the paint on the midsole too is not really, really cool. I don't like it personally. So, uh, I will modify it too and I will teach you how to do that in the next video as I will show you how to do a toolbox and flat lacing to remove those ugly laces or not remove them but make them appear way much less. So there you go. For the lightings, people that I used to get the Halloween custom shoes, those light up differently. So you have to watch for the look for the button that is behind these pots and you will have to press the button for three seconds. Three, there you go. Oh I'm gonna show you again. One, two, uh ah. well, whatever. So the shoe will light up and once the light up you can press it again and you will have a different mode of lighting. And there are some fun lightings that you're gonna see. Here is the full lighting. As you can see the LED are very bright. I'm very surprised. I don't know if you guys got the same lightings about the LEDs on the gray version. Here is the fun lighting. The second version. And the third one that didn't want to show up. Ah, come on. First one. Second one. And third one. And 
there you go that's it thanks for watching guys and i will see you in the next video for the toolbox and i'll see you later